Okay, this lesson is about counter-urbanisation and by the end of the lit, I want you to explain what counter-urbanisation is. So I'm going to explain how it happens, um, why people move and we'll try and look at some examples. Well, um, we've been talking about urban dynamics and why people move to cities and why cities change and, you know, sort of morph into what they are now. Well, counter-urbanisation is the actual opposite. This is when we get a um, decline in the population in a um, urban area, such as Sydney maybe, and people start moving back outside to the uh, countryside or rural areas, um, back to t uh, small towns and villages. Um, so that's what counter urbanisation is. Um, the reasons why this happens, and we can look at some push and pull factors, um, I found this on the internet, um, the push factors, um, urban areas are sometimes have old housing, the schools aren't good, lack of gardens, lack of open space and parks, air pollution, noise pollution, traffic congestion, uh, parking, uh, parking shortages, overcrowding, maybe higher crime, crime rates and so on. So that's what makes people want to uh, move. Um, the reason why people choose to live back into the countryside or rural areas is because they have larger houses, bigger blocks of land, gardens. Uh, like I showed you in that last um, slide, it's a pleasant scenery in the countryside. Um, because of ICT the, and the internet, people can still commute sometimes or you know have access to their jobs in the city. Um, out of town shopping malls, such you know like as West Hill Tugra. Um, means people can then you know still get their groceries and, and whatnot from um, area um, from shops that are nearby um, it's lower crime rates safer for children not much you know uh, traffic uh, kids can play out on the streets and so on and um, less polluted um, so that's what counter urbanization is examples well this is quite tricky particularly around Sydney um, because the size of Sydney Sydney is growing dramatically um, over the last 50, 60 years. And as we know, the Central Coast is now, you know, sort of part of Greater Sydney. So where would counter-urbanisation occur? Well, you'd probably be thinking of areas like Jillaby, um, that type of thing. It's going to be similar to ex-urbanisation, uh, whereas people, you know, are going to commute still down from places like Jillaby. They're, they're rural. Um, but the difference between counter-urbanisation and ex-urbanisation is that probably people who are doing counter urbanisation aren't commuting as much if at all down to Sydney. Um, so examples are pretty pretty hard but what we do need to know is that counter urbanisation that movement of people from cities and, and urban areas to rural areas um, and again pretty hard on the central coast because we have both. Um, so um, that poses a, a bit of a problem. So anyway, counter-urbanisation.